And before we get too deep into what just happened, let's go back 24 hours. What's going on guys? So I've been waiting almost three months to install this part and I got it right before I started the process of the cage and everything like that. I'm on my way to Westy's shop right now. We're gonna put this part in and you'll find out what it is when we get there. So here they are, electronic diverters, and they are from a company called No Weeds. There you go, there's their website, noweeds.net, and um, they are like a cutout, but not really. A cutout would just basically open up and exhaust would go through the cutout and also would go through your mufflers. These are actually diverters, so what happens is, here is the normal flow of exhaust to the muffler and here is the flow of exhaust right off the headers so <clears throat> there's uh, basically two flaps in here and when one closes this one opens so if this is closed if the diverters are closed the exhaust goes out your muffler like it would normally when the diverters are open it closes off the exhaust to your mufflers and opens it up and dumps it so the nice thing about this system, everything's included that you need. Basically, uh, it comes with all the electronic stuff needed. So like there's a switch and everything, like a switch panel that you can wire up and uh, directions, come with, comes with directions, very simple stuff. So um, here's your clamps, obviously. And then the other, the second section is right under there as well. So pretty excited to put these on because it can never be loud enough. Can it? Probably not. Explain to the people what we're doing, Westy. We are turning this tool back and forth. Look at that. Scoring a cut line because you have to cut this part of the exhaust off in order to put the diverter in. We've already unbolted the clamps here from the uh, Catless mid pipes. As you can see, we have yeah. cut one. So that's actually a very good tool to have it is. rather than like a saw saw or something like that. I'll saw it to you. So the diverters are in, now we are founding a place for the wiring to go, and then you need to basically drill a hole up here through the uh, center console, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So now that we have all of the wires through, we have to figure out a place basically to mount the switch because um, originally it's supposed to mount to your stock seats in your Camaro, whether it be an SS or ZL1 or whatever. Obviously I don't have those anymore, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to mount this. Um, I think what I wanna do is mount it somewhere on the side right here, but uh, we'll figure it out. So first we're going to start it up just with the diverters closed and just normal exhaust. Good sound, obviously it's too loud. And then we're going to push the open button.
<laughs> I know. If you, I don't know if you guys can see, there's three buttons, okay? Um, you have open. So that's open. And then you have, and there, when it blinks like that, it tells you it's all open, right? And then when you want to close them, you press that button once and see it's red, closing, closing, closed. If you want to open them halfway, because this button here is actually a, you, a, a user selected button. So you can literally program this to be halfway open, a quarter open, three quarters open, whatever you want. Right now it's programmed just to be halfway. So if we press it, see it's half open. So basically the exhaust is coming out of the diverters and it's also coming out behind the mufflers, which is kind of cool if you're just riding around and you want a little more volume just put it halfway in between uh, or I could I could set it to whatever I want really so that's the cool thing about that but basically when you press these buttons so if I were to close it that goes all the way closed and if I want to let's say I want to open it and I've reached a point where I don't want it to open anymore I just press the button again watch and there it stopped opening or I can open it all the way so it's pretty cool all right, so here we are the next day. I'm gonna do some pulls for you guys and uh, show you what it's like to start it up with the diverters open. So we're just going to make sure they are open. All right, that's them open. And I'm going to put my windows up because, well, yeah, it's gonna be loud. So here we go. Yep. Glad that I have my windows up. Oh my god, stuff is vibrating. I think that's that my that's my rear view mirror. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, it's not quiet at all. But it's god damn it sounds good. I'm gonna compare here the difference between open, obviously, <clears throat> and, and closed. So this right now, it's fully open. Windows up. Here is them closed, as you can hear. Now it's, now it's coming out of the back through the mufflers. So here's what they sound like closed, like I had before. sure how good of a pull I'm gonna be able to do here Mexico's traffic is starting to pick up at this hour so yeah running right off the headers open headers is exactly what's going on right now that's that's it uh, there is no restriction whatsoever it is just a blown cammed v8 and it sounds sick we have now come under a nice bridge <laughs> this is exactly what america is about i'm gonna actually pick my girlfriend up here and we're gonna go for a ride all right are you ready i'm ready freddy so here's the Obviously the regular idol and we're gonna give you a taste of what it's like when they're open. Okay. And then with the windows down. Oh my god, it sounds like a race car. <laughs> Why is it like that? Fucking airbags! 
my car is so loud. <laughs> Holy oh fuck! Oh my god! Oh my Did you god! Know what was gonna happen? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh my god! What? All right, I can't see a fucking thing right now. How do we get out of this? I, 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 <laughs> oh my god! Okay, can you see behind the car? If I take this part out. Yeah. Is there anybody on that side? I don't think so. Let me just pull off right here. Oh my heavens. I can't really see. All right. So. My God. This is what happens when you have extremely loud, just an extremely loud car. It fucking sets off your goddamn airbags. How do we get rid of them? I probably have to clear a code. Yes. What's up, Westy? I'm trying to weld. What's up? You're not going to believe this. Okay. Well, maybe you will. Maybe you will. My car is so loud that it deployed all of my airbags that are still plugged in. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm not. I'm not, dude. That's pretty funny. <laughs> dude, I'm sitting here with side airbags. I'm blocking all my windows except the front. My steering wheel did not pop thank god but i think that would only what about your dash nothing oh. nothing on the dash that would have been awful nothing on the dash yeah. only only the side i wouldn't have teeth airbags and i shit my pants um lauren shit her pants i she thought we thought the windows exploded <laughs> <laughs> it is the most ridiculous thing i've ever experienced in my life well, we need to disable the rest of them before that winds up happening. The rest of them, and you need to buy a fucking steering wheel airbag and a fucking put another dash in the car. Yeah. All right. All right. Later. Later. So I've got fucking airbag shit hanging everywhere. Holy hell! Anyways, we're gonna drive to Westies to uh, see if we can get this um, airbag situation figured out. I've never had airbags to before so I don't know this is new for me well we should have just left the sensors unplugged but you can't why would have we thought the airbags were gonna go off from some dipshit with his exhaust all right so we're gonna <laughs> attempt to uh, remove these airbags cut them out or put what you can well you there's, can pull a, them out? there's a clip I can feel a clip right there that can I mean some of it's gonna have to be cut but oh I see you it. see that little clip or uh, you feel that little clip I think it's a the cage is in the way take the cage out yeah you're right <laughs> Westy Wesley, cut this fucking cage out so we can get the airbags out, please, sir. Thank you. I just thought of something, actually. That if this cage was not in this car, those airbags would have hit Lauren and I both in the head. Yeah, that would have been bad news. The cage actually saved us from basically being impacted by the airbags. So, the unfortunate part about it is these panels cannot be removed now because of the cage being so tied up against here. So, we're basically going to have to find a way to just cut this shit out. Yeah, I can't get the clip out, so. FYI. If you guys have cutouts, diverters, whatever it is, please disable your airbags because this could potentially happen to you. Now, this might be just a freak thing because the reason these went off, and I think we, I think we kind of figured out why they went off, is because yeah. if we're looking in the car here, okay, the airbag Sharp. sensors are literally right here, okay. You can see there's the wheel, so it's pretty much right in front of the rear wheels, behind these plastic panels here, and if you look under the car. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's where it pretty much dumps and the sound goes directly towards that sensor and rattles the hell out of it. I'm sure it just tripped it and that's how they went off. That's what I'm assuming. Anyways, I don't think it was a malfunction or anything like that. So um, they must be just really sensitive or it was just perfect placement of everything. So if you guys have a fifth gen Camaro, your sensors are going to be in the same exact place as mine. So if you're going to do this to your car, disable your airbags. What do you think about this? It's fucked up. <laughs> Have you ever heard about anything like this ever in your life? No. What do you think about this, Andy? Well, you know, I've seen this many times before. Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> have <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we got everything removed and pretty much back together as, as best it can be put back together, really. I mean, there's still the headliner back there is like detached and it's just, it's just kind of pretty much impossible to put back together with a roll cage in there, so it's just gonna have to be the way it's gonna have to be. Alrighty, so Westy's gonna read the codes in the car, make sure I'm good to drive this thing and nothing else is gonna happen spontaneously. So if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, follow all my social media, everything will be in that description. Have a great day.